informed whenever new content is uploaded or we go live. Are you feeling all right, your majesty? It's me, Emma. I see you haven't eaten any of the lunch I brought you, your majesty. I'll be sure to bring you your favorite for supper. Please, your majesty. Please answer me. Very well. I'll leave you in peace. Excuse me. He's hardly eating a thing either. And I could hear him weeping all through the night yesterday. He was such a benevolent and wise king when the queen was still alive. I'm terribly sorry I'm of so little use to him. I see. So it continues. It must be difficult for you, Emma. But I need you to keep trying. If the king cannot recover from this, the country will fall apart. I just 
don't know what to suggest. Ah, hello there. Do you seek an audience with the King of Ascanther? I'm afraid that His Majesty has been unavailable to visitors since the period of mourning for the late Queen began. Two years ago. He comes down to the Royal Suite every night, but I doubt that he'll grant you an audience. I realize that that must seem strange to you, but if you return after dark, you'll see for yourselves. Did you meet with His Majesty in the Royal Suite? 
I must explain. The king is refusing to speak with anyone at present. Please forgive him if he caused offence. You see, he's never been quite the same since Queen Sasha died two years ago. If only it were possible to meet with those who've passed away. Oh, it would mean the world to the king if he could see his queen once more. You know, my grandmother used to tell me lots of stories when I was small. Lots of very strange stories. I'm sure there was one about a way to make any wish come true. No, oh, it's no good though. I, I just can't remember it. I'm sure she'd be happy to tell me if I went to see her, but... I'm afraid I must ask you a favor. I'd like you to go and see my grandmother. She lives in a house west of here, next to a... Could you ask her to tell you the old story about how to make wishes come true? Maybe it's just a fairy tale, but... If there's any chance it might be true, then I have to try and help the king. I wish I could go and ask her myself, but... There's so much to do here at the castle, and I... I can't leave him on his own. I'm really counting on your help. My grandmother lives west of Ascanther, in a house next to a bridge. I pray at church every day that the king will be happy again. Please, help me to help him. Magnificent! What a dutiful maid, worrying about her master so. I am impressed. A faithful retainer like her is a most precious treasure to a king. And you say she's about the same age as my dear Medea? Very well. Now this is an order. I want you to help this maid with her request. I beg your pardon? A detour? Well, if you get onto it quickly, it won't be a problem, will it? Off we go. We must lend a hand to this delightful maid of yours.
Goddess, have mercy.
Ishmari, keeper of the Moon Shadow Land. Welcome to my realm. Many moons have waxed and waned since human foot last trod this earth. Enlighten me. What desire opened the moon shadow window on this night? No. So. Pavan longs to be reunited with his dearly beloved Sasha. You stand amazed, mouths agape in wonderment. Ah, forgive me, I have yet to uncloud your eyes. Children of the light of day, do you believe that memories are yours alone? Your clothes, houses, tables, and chairs. The sky, the land. They too remember each passing day. Silently, they sleep in a dream world of memories. The moon's light may give shape to these dreams, these memories. I cannot stir this daughter of the sun from her eternal sleep, but perhaps I can end your friend's waking nightmare. Lead me to the castle. Lead me to the scene of Pavan's misery. Grieving soul, may the moon's rays trace the scenes enacted here long ago. Sasha, 
I've missed you so. These two years, I've thought of nothing but you. Ever since you passed away. <laughs> You're not still fretting about this morning's missive, are you? You mustn't. You made the right decision. You're always so lenient with people. But sometimes you need to be firm, too. That's a king's duty. Everybody believes in you. You must stand tall and proud. Ascantha is your country. Oh, yes, I have news. The innkeeper's dog has had a puppy. He wants us to think of a name. Is that... me? Yes. I remember this. It was the spring before last. So, this is a memory from the past? <laughs> a puppy, you say? What do you think? No doubt you've already thought of a good name for it. <laughs> it's a secret. Why? If you've thought of a name, then I'm sure it's splendid. Tell me. Surely you have a suggestion too. A name for this puppy. But I'm sure yours is... Shush now, Pavan. I think any name you came up with would be simply perfect. My dear king, you're a wise and kind man. You should follow your own instincts. <laughs> I was planning to use the name you thought of. That's all I decided. <laughs> yes. She was always like that. Always giving me so much encouragement. Sasha, why? <laughs> Sasha, why are you always so strong? Because my mother gives me strength. Your mother? But she passed away years ago. I never told you, but I was very timid as a child, so weak and afraid. And every day, my mother would try hard to encourage me. When she died, I was so sad and lonely, but then I realized... If I went back to my old, weak self, I would have nothing left of my mother at all. It would be just as if she had never existed. I realized I had to be strong, that I must remember her words of encouragement and everything she taught me. That way, she'll live on inside me for always, forever. Sasha, you're right. I should be more like you. <laughs> Shall we go out onto the terrace? The weather's so nice today. It would be lovely to enjoy the breeze together. Look! 
Your country stretches before us as far as the eye can see. Oh, Ascantha is so beautiful. Yes. Beautiful, Sasha. So beautiful. My darling king, for people to live their lives happily, you must be strong. I remember. Everything you ever told me lives on inside my heart. Forgive me, Sasha. I finally opened my eyes. I'm sorry for being so sad and lonely. At last. I finally awoken from my long and terrible nightmare. Never again will I forget the things Sasha told me. It felt like a dream, but I believe in what I saw. Thank you. Thank you so much. Thanks to you and Emma, I've finally woken up from an unbearable nightmare. Now I can be a proper king to my people again. I cannot thank you enough. If there is ever anything I can do for you, please do not hesitate to ask. I swear I will do anything in... Farewell, my friends. May fortune ride with you on your continuing journey. I hope we will meet again soon. Right for some, isn't it? No doubt King Pavan treated you to plenty of fine food and drink, you lucky toads. The princess and I have been waiting, you know, stuck here outside town. And the deer isn't much for conversation these days, hmm? 
I know how you feel, Grandad. If only you weren't so, uh, green, eh? Maybe we could get you into town, and you could have a drink or something. I ain't exactly a looker myself. I know what it's like to be discriminated against. Wake hey, up. I've got an idea. The town I used to live in ain't too far south of here. How about we head off down there, eh? Sure, Pickham ain't no rose garden, but it's in the middle of nowhere, right? Even a strange old geezer like him would fit in. No, old granddaddy will be able to get himself a drink. And we might get a clue about where that dull Magus has got to and all. There's a bloke there who knows everything about everything. We call him Brains. He's a mate of mine. He'll know something, dead sir. See? Two birds with one stone, eh? I ain't just a pretty face. Come on, let's get going south. Pick em, here we come. 